Okay, here's uh, my normal tripod um, with the legs collapsed, so it's only about two feet off the ground, and I can extend those legs with a quick release there, so that they can be extended, and the tripod can be released, extended to about five feet tall or something, and it's quite sturdy. And it's not that heavy, it's made of aluminum. So to pick it up, it's about maybe 10 or 15 pounds. And there's this, uh, I think this is one of these things. This is quick release. You can release this little thing and screw this into the bottom of your camera. So then you just can drop the camera into it very simply and release it very simply. And it swivels up and down and sideways. But it, you can't always be carrying this with you uh, all the time. Now here is the tripod that I got in the mail. It cost me less than nine dollars. This little compact one. Here it is uh, in the mirror. <laughs> Showing you in the mirror. This is my camera. You know, it's hard to show your camera in the mirror um, at an angle. Not straight on, but there it is. So this is my camera, and this is the little tripod that it is on. That, that you can see in the mirror. So it's this is 11 inches in height when it's collapsed, and then to extend the legs, it's just like um, just like a uh, television antenna. It, although it's not aluminum, it, it's not as flimsy as a television antenna because. Television antennas aren't designed to bear any weight, but um, it goes down, extends about two extra feet there, and easily shoved back in. That's all there is to it. There's no, there's no thing to tighten that will hold it really solid. So it's not for a heavy camera, but this isn't a heavy camera. Um, so this whole tripod only weighs about one pound, or just about the same as what the camera itself weighs. Practically nothing. And the trick that I wanted to point out here is now that I have it, the camera on the tripod, I think this alone makes holding the camera steady a lot. Look, I'm left-handed and I'm holding it with my left hand, because this is in the mirror. And I think it makes holding the camera steady by holding it with the vertically like this. You can hold it with two hands vertically. I think it makes it much, 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 so much easier to hold the camera steady this way. Um, and you can and to turn it smoothly like this, or even up and down. But you could also use the handle on the back here if you wanted to go up and down. Um, generally, I think, though, if you're just holding it with your hand this now this is a nine dollar version imagine if you actually spent some money for a compact um this was the cheapest you're supposed to for a compact tripod that um where it really was swiveled professionally this it does it it does it but it's a little difficult to to get it going <laughs> um but regardless just having the camera held that you can hold vertically like this and just to, whether you're panning up or down the fact is on a tripod like this that weighs about 10 or maybe 15 pounds so you can't really use the tripod as a manual um a sort of a a manual pole to be holding to be holding the camera, but this thing that weighs one pound, you can use it just as a manual pole to hold the camera, and I think it makes it a lot, lot easier to, to hold the camera steadily, so you're not shaking, and in addition to the fact that uh, if you're in a fixed, if you're making a fixed setting, you can extend the legs, set it on the ground, and even walk away from it and walk into the view of the let the camera view yourself, and it'll hold you steady, even if there's nothing to set the camera down on, even if this, the ground level isn't isn't um, level, the ground isn't level, you can extend 
the lengths, the legs to different lengths to to compensate and, and make it level. Now it doesn't have a level. I think this one has somewhere in it a little um, bubble leveler thing on the side. Let's see if it does. Somewhere. Hmm, I thought it did. I was pretty sure it did have a... There it does, right there. It's got this little circle thing that shows you if the tripod is level. Um, like I said, you might get a compact version that costs <laughs> more than $9 that would have the same sort of feature. But even without that, you just hold the hold it so much easier. Now if I unscrew it, I'll show you how difficult sometimes, like I'm outside and I'm trying to follow a squirrel or or trying to film the deer for three or four minutes. Okay, I screw this one. There we go. Uh, trying, to, trying to something film something like deer for three or four minutes. Now this is just a camera. And this seems to weigh even really less than nothing now. Um, yeah, I've been, now it might seem easy enough to hold the camera steady like this for now, but when you're outside and you got nothing to lean against and you're trying to film something, um, holding the camera steady is not that easy. Can be more, you know. I think I think my my I think I'm getting my a little bit steadier, just because having the battery that gives me more time to film has been giving me more practice holding the camera, so that I'm getting a little bit steadier at holding it. Um, but even so, as you breathe, it goes up and down, and I think sticking it on the the, the vertical pole to hold it instead. I think that can make it just a lot easier. <laughs> Alright, well I have to get used to how there I used to attaching this. I think just holding the camera like that can make make it a lot easier to 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 be less wobbly. In addition to the fact that you can set it down on the ground where you're not even holding it at all, but when you extend the legs and the thing costs less than nine dollars. <laughs> And weighs just about a pound. So that's my little tip. Took a little too long to show it, but that's the, that's how it goes.